how do you collect plankton? Today we're going to talk about an upcoming expedition. Normally, you only hear about research when it's published. But a few weeks ago, we met with a marine biologist who's preparing for an awesome expedition, who leaves today. Introducing Katja Pijnenburg. What are you going to do? We are getting ready for an ocean expedition where we will cross the Atlantic Ocean on a British research vessel. A transect of 13 and a half thousand kilometers and we will be on board for seven weeks sampling zooplankton. Who is coming along on the ship? So there will be a plankton team of four women. My American colleague Erica Goetze will come along and uh, we'll have a postdoc from Britain, Deborah Wall Palmer, who also works at Naturalis at the moment, and a PhD student, Lisette Mekkes. What is zooplankton? Zooplankton are uh, tiny animals that cannot swim against ocean currents. We will focus on uh, certain groups in the plankton that are between a millimeter and one centimeter in size. And specifically I'm interested in, for example, some groups of crustaceans, arrowworms and planktonic gastropods. And in this last group you have beautiful names such as sea butterflies, sea angels and sea elephants. What does an average day on the ship look like? We will actually sample with plankton nets from the boat the top 500 meters of the water column, which means that we will get up every night at 2 a.m. and basically work all through the night. Jackpot! Have some breakfast and um, run our experiments during the day, which means that we don't sleep very much. So we'll sleep in shifts of like three to four hours. But one day will be different. That will be the day that we cross the equator. I'm actually very happy that yesterday I found this uh, certificate, which means that I've already crossed the equator once. So there will be a crossing the line ceremony and everybody who has not crossed the line on an ocean vessel will uh, have to appear in front of Neptune's court. And I believe also Darwin went through this uh, ceremony. You know, not the least people have under <laughs> undergone this. And, and how do you prepare yourself? We've had medical checkups, dental checkups, we've done a sea survival course to show that uh, we can actually uh, uh, take care of ourselves at sea and also maybe rescue others. And we then have to also do um, risk assessments and write uh, safety sheets for all the chemicals that we use and all the operations that we carry out on board which makes you think that it's all very, very dangerous. But we do this to be prepared well enough so that we can do this safely. Will you survive? <laughs> that, I'm counting on it. My family is also counting on it. That sounds like a, a lot of work, but is it actually worth it? I think it's important to research what's happening now in the oceans. We know that the oceans are changing really rapidly, more rapidly than we've seen for millions of years. They are becoming warmer. Um, less oxygenated and more acidic. And um, I want to understand how plankton, at the basis of our marine food chains, will respond to these changes. And with this cruise, we will uh, learn more about their capacity, hopefully, to adapt to these changes. What do you still need to do? Well, um, quite a lot of things. Um, I still have to... Uh... And um, hopefully get some great results. I think... That's about it. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>